Hello and welcome to the eventright.com YouTube show. What I want to talk about on this show <clears throat> is a new way to invent. It's actually a new way to invent. It's just not a way that most inventors are inventing. And it's basically inventing with the marketplace in mind. Now it sounds like some sort of marketing mumbo jumbo, I think, but basically what it means is to study a micro category that's not a broad category like all the barbecue accessories, it's like barbecue spatulas. Not all the pool toys, but pool floaties for toddlers. So study a category that's small enough, become an expert in it, and then invent for it. That's not what most inventors are doing. What most inventors are doing is randomly coming up with ideas. I don't even think that most inventors understand their process. I don't think most inventors question their process because they're like, well, I'm constantly coming up with good ideas, so why would I evaluate my process? Why would I do it any different? Maybe they're exposed to something at the store, saw something on TV, or somebody stated a problem. There's a million different ways people invent. And then they come up with an idea a week or a day later or a month later or whenever. And that's their process. The frustrating part about that is now you've got to take that idea and now you've got to study the marketplace and see if it fits in. And that's not a good thing because people get anxious. They have blinders on like, oh, I got to prove nothing like it exists. They're not really studying that micro category um, when they need to. So now if you did it different, you don't have any idea whatsoever, you decide, I'm gonna study all the pool floaties for toddlers, right? And you look at, there's, okay, there's like these over here, they have these benefits, these over here, I'm gonna invent right in the middle. Or there's a whole, there's like five of them like this, I'm just gonna make a slight tweak. I know that's selling, because I see a whole bunch of products in the marketplace like that, I'm gonna make a slight tweak and change it a bit. If you do this, you're not gonna have the anxiety you're gonna be more open, it's fun, because you're not trying to prove it doesn't exist, you're just studying the marketplace and inventing with the marketplace in mind and you're studying a category that you can become an expert in in four to six hours because it's smaller, like pool floaties, not all pool products, pool, you know, barbecue spatulas, not all barbecue accessories. So you gotta break it down and make it approachable and have a lot of fun with it. Most inventors never do this. So am I telling you abandon, abandon your ideas and the way you come up with ideas? Um, absolutely not. You can keep doing that, but try this as well. When you come up with new ideas, this is a great way to come up with new ideas in a category that you're already excited about and it's going to ensure that it's a marketable product because you studied the micro category, you understood all the products, and most inventors, they don't understand all the products in that space. They randomly come up with an idea, and then they're a little stubborn to make those changes. You won't even need to make changes nine times out of 10 if you study the marketplace, study a micro category first because you already understood that micro category and now you're inventing for it and why would you need to make a change? Now a company might say we like this, we don't like that, you make a change then. But you're coming up with an idea that's based on your knowledge of that micro category. So I hope you enjoyed this topic. It's a different way to invent. It's a very powerful way to invent. It increases your chance of success. It reduces your anxiety level for studying the category after you come up with an idea. I highly recommend it. Try it today. One of the best ways to do it is using Google Images, not regular Google. Use Google Images. You see most creative people are visual people. You see all these images. So you go to google.com slash images search there through images, not regular Google. That's my one big tip there, okay? So I'll remind everybody, take care, keep inventing, and we'll catch up with you on the next inventright.com YouTube show. See ya. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.